Hello viewers, in this video, I am going to cover function. Let's begin. In the first program, I am going to cover function. I have created function called addition, with parameters A and B as inputs. In at the beginning of function, indicate that function returns integer value. I am performing addition within function, and returning the result. In the main program, I have created two variables, num1 and num2, and passing these variables to addition function, and assigning the value returned from function, to variable sum, and displaying the result, using printf function. In the next program, I am going to cover defining functions. Function name should be unique. That is no two functions should have same name. Function cannot have same name as keywords. If the function is defined after main function, then we need to declare the function prototype before main function. Prototype contains function name, input parameters for function, and type of output returned by function. In the next program, I am going to cover const parameter. If we use const keyword, then the function treats the argument that are passed as constant. Using const keyword is only useful when parameter is a pointer. Because arguments are passed by value. I have created function display name with parameters as const char array, which prints the name, and function disp name with parameters as pointer to const char which prints the name. In the main program, I have defined char array for first name and last name, and passing these values as parameters for functions, display name, and disp name, to print name. In the next program, I am going to cover pointer to function. I have created function addition, which returns addition of, two input numbers. Function multiplication, which returns multiplication of, two input numbers. In the main function, I have defined two variables, num1 and num2 with values. Define variables to store sum and multiplication, and define pointer to function. I am pointing the pointer to function to addition function, assigning the value returned by function, to sum and displaying the value using printf function. Now, I am pointing the pointer to function, to multiplication function, assigning the value returned by function, to mult and displaying the value using printf function. In the next program, I am going to cover static variables. If we define the variable as static, then value doesn't get destroyed when execution leaves function. If we define the variable without static, value gets destroyed when execution leaves function. In the next program, I am going to cover global variables. If we define the variable as global, we can access the variable from anywhere in the program. We can access within main function, within other functions. But, static variable can hide the global variable. In the next program, I am going to cover variable scope. Scope of variable defined in outer block, exist in inner block. But scope of variable defined in inner block, doesn't exist in outer block, and scope of variable defined in function, is only within the function. I have created variable i in outer block, 
and assign value as 10 and displaying the value using printf function. In the inner block, I have defined same variable i again and assign value as 20 and displaying the value using printf function. I am calling the dummy function where I have defined variable i and assigned value as 30 and printing the value using printf function. If I print the value of variable in outer block, it is referring to the variable defined in outer block and not the one defined in inner block or one defined in function. In the next program, I am going to cover function recursion. Function which calls itself is called recursion function. I have created function factorial which calls itself till the value becomes less than 2. In the main function, I am prompting to enter a number and reading the value using scanf function. Then, I am passing the value enter to factorial function and storing the return value in fact variable and displaying the factorial of number entered using printf function. In the next program, I am going to cover function variable number arguments. Variable argument list require stdr.h header file. I have created function sum with variable argument list. I have created pointer called var for variable argument list. Initializing the variable argument list using va start function. Performing sum until variable argument is not zero. Ending the variable argument list using van function. And returning the sum in the main function. I am passing three values in first function call and displaying result using printf function and passing four values in second function call and displaying result using printf function. In the next program, I am going to cover main function. Execution starts from main function. Main function can be defined with no parameters. Or we can define first parameter as integer, which represents count of number of argument, including name of program. Second parameter is array of pointer to string. I am displaying name of program using argv of zero. Performing sum of parameters passed using for loop and a toy function to convert string to integer and displaying the sum of parameters using printf function. In the next program, I am going to cover exit function. Exit function quits program. Exit function requires stdlib.h header file. I have called exit function within dummy function. Because of which, statements after calling dummy function is not getting executed. In the next program, I am going to cover static function. If we define function as static, then function will be visible only within source file in which function is defined and function cannot be called from other source files. In the next program, I am going to cover system function. System functions require stdlib.h header file. Using system function, we can run another program or issue commands example, dir command.
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are preparing for interview, you can buy ebook on C program interview questions from the Amazon link given in the description below. Please like this video, click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any video updates. Thanks for watching this video.